I'm Robert Glansman. I'm a neurologist from the United States. I'm currently Chief Medical Officer for Genero SA. We are a small biotech company located in Geneva, Switzerland, and I'd like to present to you our poster, GMBC1, shows evidence of neuroprotection in relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. GMBC1 is a humanized monoclonal antibody directed against an envelope protein, which is encoded by a human endogenous retrovirus. It's human endogenous retrovirus type W. Human endogenous retroviruses are not human, they're not endogenous, and they're not retroviruses. What they actually are are retroviral proviral DNA insertions that we all carry with us in our genome. In fact, 8% of our genome is composed of retroviral DNA fragments that we carry with us. Normally, these DNA fragments are inert and they do not uh, transcribe or translate into protein. However, in pathological conditions and in, uh, in certain people who are genetically susceptible, uh, they can express proteins. And as you can see here uh, in the graphic on the upper right, that is a confocal micrograph of a uh, cortex of a patient with secondary progressive multiple sclerosis uh, from the Cleveland Clinic from Bruce Trapp's lab. And as you can see in green, uh, that blob you see is a microglia. And that microglia is activated and surrounding uh, a myelinated axon, which you see in red. And that uh, mic activated microglia is, is expressing uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha and other pro-inflammatory cytokines. Uh, and it's also, uh, recent uh, evidence has shown that these, that these envelope protein, you can see in green all over the microglia, that's envelope protein, uh, causes uh, the microglia to become activated and causes it to cease to scavenge myelin debris. All of the things that we know are implicated in uh, chronic progressive multiple sclerosis. In addition, we now know that uh, oligodendrocyte precursor cells, or OPCs, express toll-like receptor 4 as they're maturing. This envelope protein is an agonist of toll-like receptor 4. It causes the OPCs to cease to mature, and they will not remyelinate. This is the uh, basic, clinical basic science that underlies uh, the, uh, the foundation for, for uh, the antibody. Now, the study itself is called CHANGE-MS. It was a phase 2b 270 patient study in relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. There were four treatment arms. There were three doses of active GMBC1, the active antibody. There was six, 12, and 18 milligrams per kilogram, and placebo. And as you can see uh, in the lower uh, panels here, at week 48 um, on GMBC1, we saw evidence of neuroprotection across almost all of the major MRI uh, measures that we use to look for neuroprotection. We saw a 60% reduction in new black holes, T1 black holes. We saw a, approximately 30% reduction in uh, whole brain atrophy, approximately a 30% reduction in cortical atrophy, and a 60% reduction in thalamic atrophy over one year. So um, these results are very impressive, uh, and we look forward to studying uh, GMBC1 uh, in progressive patients uh, uh, in the future. So the reason I'm very interested in multiple sclerosis is, um, I actually, I was, became interested in neuroscience uh, as a child. I'm, I'm the survivor of suicide. My brother committed suicide when I was a child, and I was actually going to go into psychiatry. But um, uh, when I was in medical school, the chairman of neurology actually kind of got me interested in neurology, and I'm kind of glad I did now. So I've been doing neurology now for the last, I don't know, 30 years. And, and for the last 20 years, I've been really been pretty much focused on multiple sclerosis. And, uh, it's been a great journey. Um, I started out um, as a uh, neurologist, uh, a, as an academic clinical neurologist, uh, and then I came into industry uh, in the late 90s, and I've been in the industry now uh, at various companies, including Pfizer, Roche, Novartis, and more recently here uh, as the chief medical officer uh, at Genero. And uh, it's been a great journey. Uh, I really think that uh, we are on the cusp of being able to make multiple sclerosis a treatable disease. Uh, and I believe that. I think in the next 15 years, we will be able to uh, essentially keep patients under control with their MS and keep them from progressing, which will be a huge, huge uh, breakthrough in this disease.